Hey, what's up? My name is Ange. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reading the highest and lowest rated book on my TBR. So I'm going based off of my April TBR. I believe that this video comes out sometime in May. On this TBR, I have Reckless by Elsie Silver and also Never by Jessa Hastings. Now, you could probably guess here because of a lot of things that you hear, but Reckless by Elsie Silver is, it's book number four in the Chestnut Spring series, right? Yeah, it's book number four. And then Never by Jessa Hastings is a Peter Pan retelling is what I've heard. So this is the highest rated book and this is the lowest rated book. So Reckless, like I said, is a book number four in the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver. This one is about Theo Silva and Summer's sister, Winter. It says, Theo Silva, rowdy bull rider, notorious ladies man, scorching hot trouble, wrapped in a jewel-worthy package. And he's looking at me like I might be his next meal, but I'm almost free of my toxic marriage and have sworn off men entirely. So all I can see when I look back is temptation, served up with a heaping side of heartbreak. The man is hard to trust and even harder to resist. Make that impossible because Theo is persistent. And no matter how hard I try to freeze him out, he melts my icy exterior and pulls apart all my defenses. Is that moving? I had to- the, the camera literally fell over, so like if this is in a different spot, sorry. Over a drink in a small town bar, I blurt out my deepest, darkest secrets. Then I spend the singular hottest night of my life with him. He worships my body, he makes me blush, I come alive beneath his hands. Then I tell him to forget it ever happened. I want simple, and with him it all feels complicated. It was supposed to be a one-time thing, a secret, but that little plus sign is going to make this secret impossible to keep. So like I said, this is the highest rated book. This one has 133,711 ratings at the time of me filming this, and the average is 4.39 stars. Now, next, we have Never by Jesse Hastings, and let me start out with the rating, which, like, maybe I should have done this differently, but I didn't. I just did it based off of my TBR. This one only has 4,715 ratings, so, like, probably should have done a more popular book but you know what whatever we're already starting this i already planned it so this is the book we're going with it was still the lowest so it is what it is and this one has 3.24 stars this one like i said is like a peter pan retelling it says never is an awfully long time growing up daphne always knew peter pan would come for her the way he come for her mother and her grandmother wendy before that the darling girls their stories are all the same the forever young boy at their window after their 13th birthday and the shimmery magical land behind a star when Peter doesn't show for Daphne until she's 17, inexplicably full grown and with no excuse for his tardiness, Daphne doesn't know what to think. Still, she has always been told that the Peter Pan is her destiny. It's beyond choice to take his hand and leap into the stars no matter what comes next. But in Neverland, Peter's true colors begin to show. One moment he's making Daphne's heart flutter and the next he's forgotten her entirely. So when Daphne stumbles into the path of Jameson Hook, the pirate son of Peter's nemesis, she lets herself get swept up in his vulgar charm despite the warning signs. Both boys are trouble and both have dangerous secrets about the strange fantasy land they call home. And if she loses her heart to either one, Daphne might just lose herself too. So, you, you, I don't really hear a ton of great things about this book. I hear a ton of great things about this book. But they're both of my TBR and again, like maybe I should have chosen a more popular book and kind of kept it like even on playing field here, but I didn't. So we're going to make do with what I have. So again, we are going to be reading these over the course of the next week and then I'll tell you my thoughts. Higher rated, lower rated. Let's start reading and let's see what I think. This is not a spoiler reading vlog, but I'm on chapter six of Reckless. They just signed like 
their contract one night only. They're going to get together for only one night. That's on the back of the book, so that's not a spoiler. But I was like, mm, I like them together. I, I really like Winter. I think I said that when I read the first book. Like, I really, really like Winter. I was really excited to see her eventually. So... I think that I'm going to enjoy this, and I'm not a huge fan of um, Unexpected Pregnancies, but I heard that this one has done so well, so I'm really excited to see how that goes. Those are my thoughts so far. Let's keep reading. Just a comment. I don't, like, I know the whole story is about this Unexpected Pregnancy, but I don't love how quick we jumped into it. I'm only 88 pages into it, and we're already, like, it happened like she's pregnant. Again, I don't think that that's a spoiler because it literally says it on the back, so whatever. If that was a spoiler, I apologize, but that's what happens in this book based on the back. So I just, like, I don't know. I don't love how quick we jumped into that, but, I mean, it is what it is. I kind of wish it was, like, at least, like, a little bit more build-up, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, I'm almost 100 pages into it. Like, that's really, like, that is a lot. I don't know. I'm all over the place. That's just, like, what I think right now, but... So far, I like it. I'm glad that Sloane and Winter are friends. Like, I can picture them. Like, I, I like I like that. 18 months later, excuse me? We're doing a time jump like that? That's not what I was expecting, but I, like, actually kind of love it. halfway through this book I am starting chapter 20 so again literally like roughly halfway a lot of people say that this one is really great because if you're not a fan of unexpected pregnancy it's like different and it's done very well I am not a fan of unexpected pregnancy I hate that trope like literally hate that trope like everyone is saying this one has done so well I really 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 am enjoying it and this might be somewhat of a spoiler so like if you don't want to spoil like a tiny something for you then if I were you I would jump ahead about a minute or so I love that it happens right in the very beginning and then it's 18 months later so it's her whole pregnancy and now Vivian her baby is nine months old like I like that it jumps to where it jumps to I'm just really loving the timing about it and everything like that I love Theo I think he's so like sweet and awesome and amazing and I love his mom already we haven't even met his mom but like the little parts that, or, well, we've met her. Winter has not met her, but I just feel like everything that we're seeing, like, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's not going to be a five-star read for me. That's not the point of this video. However, I am just really enjoying it. I'll probably finish this within the next, like, two-ish days. It's definitely, this is a very quick read for me. I am flying through it. The chapters are the perfect length that I'm like, okay, this is great. I don't really have any other notes. Oh, the reason that he didn't know about his child. I'm angry about that one. Like, I feel for them in that situation. I love Winter. I love how strong she is. I really am wondering, like, when her past is going to catch up to her because that was such a big thing in the very beginning. So I wonder if that's going to resurface. I mean, you haven't heard about it. There was 18 months that passed by, but it's really really good i am really enjoying it so i can see why everyone rates this one so high i think as of right now i will be rating this pretty high but we will see we still have half a book left so let me not get too carried away but 
yeah, those are my thoughts so far. explain to me why Theo Silva is literally the best man on earth because like I booked your manicure for 10 oh by the way then you have massage after oh and then you're getting lunch with Sloan I'm passing out I'm simply passing out it's been a few days every single time I pick up this camera but like it's been a few days I haven't read I am well I did read I just didn't read this book for this video so I'm on chapter 26 I on 311 of like I think it's roughly 500 uh, 498 I'm gonna try and finish this between today and tomorrow and just get this done so I can move on to never and wrap up this video I am really, really loving it. I just got really wrapped up reading Divine Rivals, and I couldn't read anything about that. You'll, you'll hear about that soon, because I don't know when this video comes out versus when the April... Probably roughly around the same time. Maybe. Probably not. But I got really wrapped up reading that. So I'm picking back up with Reckless. So let's read. <laughs> said this in every single video where I ever read anything with the Chestnut Springs my favorite character is Harvey Eaton I love that man I literally love that man so much he's the best number one Eaton man whoa the story about Bo we finally get it guys we finally get what happened. I don't know who's, who is, oh, it's all the way over there. I'm not gonna look, but I don't know who he ends up with. left of a reckless by LC Silver so I figured we would read together. My camera is about to die so I have to make this quick but I just finished Reckless by Elsie Silver. This was such a good book. I absolutely loved Winter as a character. I loved their story and for the fact that it was an accidental pregnancy I still loved it because I'm not a fan of that as I mentioned probably a billion times in this video but I really 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 enjoyed this. This is probably like number three or two. I don't know. I'm, it's like kind of tied with number one for me like the first book in the series kind of tied with that one but 
It was really, really good. I love their connection. Theo is like the man. I love it. Amazing. And if I had to rate this one right now, I'd probably rate it a 4. So now we're going to move on to the lowest rated book, which is Never by Jessa Hastings. So I'm starting at Never by Jessa Hastings. This was the lower rated book, so I'll bring up, I forget what the rating was. The Devil's Game just started, everybody. Anyway, Never by Jessa Hastings has 3.24 stars. This was the lowest rated book on my April TBR. Is it April? I think it's April. It's April right now. Oh my god, my months are all messed up. Anyway, it only has 4,796 ratings and only 1,400 reviews. Not a lot of people love this. Anyway, this one has 3.24 stars. This is the Peter Pan retelling. Let's get into it. Let's read a little bit. I think that this will be a quick read, but I don't know. I always say that and then it probably won't be, but whatever. <laughs> that he like hangs out with like every woman in the family like just saying like think about that there not a little weird to me that's to me that's a little weird <laughs> I'm holding my camera because I don't even want to just like completely put it down because I don't want to record anymore. Um, okay, so I finished chapter one and then I put the book down because I don't like this book. I know that I haven't really given it a shot. I literally read chapter one, but I just, I don't know. Why did I buy this book? I don't even remember. Honestly, I don't even remember buying the book. I just like had it on my cart so I don't know I just feel like it's it eh. Peter Pan is like a rat Peter Pan is just being like nasty I don't know this is it's gonna be a weird book I'm gonna read it but it's it's a weird book I'm gonna see how much I can get done tonight and I'm gonna check in tomorrow morning and tell you my full thoughts but I'm gonna attempt to get through this book now <laughs> to get where I am in this book. Do you want to know where I am in this book? Chapter 4. 4! Chapter 4. I am not enjoying this. I can see why so many people do not like it. I don't think it's for me. I read Magdalena Parks and her writing is way different from what I normally read, but I enjoyed it in that one. This one, I'm just like, I'm just confused. I don't like any of the characters at all. Again, I haven't really given them too much of a chance. 
So I'm going to try and give it at least a few more chapters before I decide to DNF it because honestly, that's where I'm headed right now. I'm trying really hard to not DNF it and I'm just going to give them at least a few more chapters or try and finish it. It's just the chapters are so long and I don't like the way they talk and I don't like the characters and I'm just confused. And I just, all around, I'm just not enjoying it. And if I DNF this book, that is going to bring this video to an abrupt end, but I don't want to read books that I'm not enjoying, so it's like, mm, not real. I'm just not loving it. I'm, again, I'm going to keep trying, but as of right now, like, I really don't like this book. I just, literally, page like 57. I, I don't know. Let's just read for a little bit. Okay, so listen, I hate to do this. I really, really, really hate to do this, but I'm DNFing this book. I can't do it anymore. I read to page 106, which is like chapter maybe six or seven, seven maybe. I can see why it's rated so low. I just, I tried so hard to give it a chance. I read into the middle of chapter six and I physically just cannot do it anymore. I don't like the characters. I don't like the story. I don't like the writing. I don't care about these characters. Like, I, I just, like, there's no other way to put it that I just don't want to read it anymore. So, I'm just done reading it. That was the end of this video. I rated this around like a four, I think I rated a four star. Let me, let me check real quick and I'll give you the definite. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be the first video that comes out, I believe, with my hair this color. So I just dyed my hair. It's very dark, but it lines up over the summer a lot. So this, this book honestly has just been putting me in a slump. Like I haven't, I've barely read since this book. So I since I read this book and this was like four or five days ago. I just, I can't do it. So I'm sorry. I, I just can't. And I liked Magnolia Park. So it's not even like the author. It's just this book. I just can't do it. So I rated this book four stars. I said that I was not a really big fan of that kind of trope, but it was done so well. I really enjoyed it. And the characters were amazing. I think Winter is my favorite girl from this series so far. I felt like I could really connect with her and I loved how strong of a character she was. So I really, really enjoyed this book. Like I said, this book, I just, I'm sorry. I just cannot do it anymore. I cannot make myself read this anymore. I'm not enjoying it. It's putting me in a slump. I just, just know. So that brings this video to an end. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye.